In a move that caught even top defense analysts off guard, former President Donald Trump stepped back into the spotlight with a headline-grabbing announcement. President Trump has announced that Boeing will build the next generation of fighter jets for the U.S. Air Force. The new sixth generation of fighter aircraft will be called the F-47, named after Donald Trump, the 47th president of the United States. Boeing has been awarded the contract to build America's next generation fighter jet, the F-47. The deal, valued at over $20 billion to start and possibly hundreds of billions over time, signals a dramatic shift in both defense strategy and industry leadership. With stealth specs that rival science fiction and drone coordination built into its DNA, the F-47 is unlike anything the US military has fielded before. The F-47 will be the most advanced, most capable, most lethal aircraft ever built. An experimental version of the plane has secretly been flying for almost five years, and we're confident that it massively overpowers the capabilities of any other nation. There's no other nation. We know every other plane. I've seen every one of them, and it's not even close. This is a next level. But how did Boeing win? And what does this mean for global air dominance? In this video, we'll break down Trump's F-47 announcement, explore the cutting edge technology behind the fighter jet, and uncover why this jet could define the next 50 years of aerial warfare. Let's get started. On March 21st, 2025, President Donald Trump made one of his most significant defense announcements since returning to office. Speaking alongside Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin in the Oval Office, Trump confirmed that Boeing had secured the contract to build America's next generation fighter jet, the F-47. The announcement wasn't made at a defense expo or on an airfield, it came straight from the White House, reinforcing just how politically charged and strategically important this decision was. Behind Behind Trump, a large display showed sleek renderings of the F-47, showcasing sharp angles and a futuristic design that hinted at its capabilities. It looked nothing like the jets currently in service. The moment was carefully choreographed. Trump spoke directly to the press and the public, declaring, America's enemies will never see it coming. The line wasn't just for flair, it encapsulated what the F-47 represents, a quiet leap ahead in stealth, speed, and integrated combat technology. What made the announcement particularly striking wasn't just the reveal itself, but the context around it. The F-47 is the first manned fighter to be announced in nearly two decades and the first sixth generation aircraft publicly confirmed by the US government. The F-22 was retired early and the F-35 program, while successful in deployment, has been plagued by cost overruns and performance debates. Secretary Hegseth, flanking the president, emphasized that the F-47 was a dramatic leap in lethality and battlefield control, highlighting its ability to integrate with autonomous systems. General Alvin, often measured in tone, was unusually emphatic. He called the F-47 the crown jewel of the Air Force's future fleet, noting that its modular design allows for real-time adaptability a necessity in a world where threats evolve fast and unpredictably. This wasn't just a win for Boeing, it was a calculated move to reassert American dominance in aerial warfare, and to signal to both allies and adversaries that the US is entering a new phase of air power, faster, smarter, and unrelenting. While Trump made the headlines, the real buzz lies in the machine itself. What exactly is the F-47, and why are defense analysts calling it a game changer? Let's dive into the stealthy AI-powered monster that's redefining the future of air combat. The F-47 isn't just another jet in the Air Force's lineup. It's the first sixth generation fighter confirmed for production, and its design reflects a significant departure from traditional combat aircraft. At its core, the F-47 is built to function less like a lone war machine and more like a control hub in the sky. A mothership capable of managing semi-autonomous drones, gathering real-time data, and adapting to combat conditions without needing to land or reboot. From a technical standpoint, the F-47 is engineered with stealth architecture far more advanced than what's seen on the F-22 or F-35. Its body features radar-absorbing materials layered across a slimmer, low-profile fuselage. The aircraft's heat signature is minimized through redesigned engine exhaust systems, making it even harder to detect on infrared
infrared sensors. Most notably, the design eliminates vertical tail fins, a radical shift that significantly reduces radar visibility while increasing maneuverability at high speeds. Under the skin, the F-47 runs on a hybrid processing system that fuses AI with pilot decision making. And rather than just acting as an assistant, the onboard AI can take over routine threat analysis, manage sensor input, and coordinate with unmanned aerial systems in the air. This allows the pilot to focus solely on high-level commands. It's not a fully autonomous jet, but it's much closer to that line than any aircraft that came before it. A key feature is its ability to deploy and command what the Air Force calls collaborative combat aircraft, essentially drone wingmen. These drones can scout ahead, jam enemy radar, or even carry weapons. Each F-47 is designed to control multiple drones at once, effectively multiplying its impact on the battlefield. These systems are still being tested, but they're already integrated into the aircraft's software and flight systems. Secret test flights of early F-47 prototypes began as far back as 2019 under the NGAD program. These flights were conducted at undisclosed locations and focused on validating its stealth profile, speed envelope, and AI pilot interface. Engineers prioritize modular construction, meaning that many of the aircraft's systems can be updated or swapped without needing a complete overhaul, a major step forward in reducing long-term costs and improving adaptability. As impressive as the tech specs are, the decision to award Boeing this contract wasn't just about performance numbers. It was about keeping Boeing alive in the defense sector. And that brings us to a much bigger question. Can Boeing really pull this off considering all the troubles it has been having lately? Boeing has already been through several turbulent years. Its commercial division is still recovering from the aftermath of the 737 MAX crisis, which led to the grounding of aircraft worldwide, congressional investigations, and over $20 billion in direct and indirect losses. These issues don't stop at the civilian sector. On the defense side, Boeing has been struggling with performance setbacks across several programs, most notably the KC-46 Pegasus aerial refueling tanker and the new Air Force One aircraft. Both projects face delivery delays, cost overruns, and technical flaws that damage the company's credibility with the Pentagon. These problems left Boeing's defense arm in a vulnerable position. Lockheed Martin has long-term contracts locked down with the F-35 and other platforms. Northrop Grumman has its foothold with the B-21 bomber. Boeing, by contrast, was approaching a cliff. Its legacy platforms like the F-A-18 Super Hornet are nearing the end of their production life, and the F-15EX, while solid, lacks long-term stability due to limited domestic orders and growing reliance on foreign buyers. Winning the F-47 contract was essential to Boeing's future in defense aviation. The NGAD program, which includes the F-47, is one of the last major open competitions for a manned fighter expected in the next 10 to 15 years. Without it, Boeing would have faced the real possibility of becoming irrelevant in the high-performance military aircraft space. That's why the company poured billions into its production facilities in St. Louis, upgrading tooling lines, expanding digital engineering capacity, and retraining its workforce for advanced assembly processes. Internal projections showed that without this contract, job cuts and plant closures would have been difficult to avoid. The reaction from competitors reflected just how high the stakes were. Lockheed Martin was widely expected to win, given its experience with stealth platforms. Industry insiders were caught off guard. Northrop Grumman, though less public had quietly submitted a proposal but didn't make it to the final round. Boeing's selection surprised many, not because of the design, but because of the company's recent track record. But behind closed doors, the Pentagon saw Boeing's win not just as a technical victory, but as a strategic necessity to preserve competition in the fighter jet industry. Now that Boeing has its lifeline, attention turns to the future of warfare. So what should we expect? The F-47 is not designed to simply fill a gap in the Air Force's lineup. It's being positioned as the core of American air dominance for the next 40 years. While exact numbers are still classified, defense analysts expect the Pentagon to eventually order at least 200 F-47s. With the initial batch set to roll out by 2030, that number could climb significantly depending on global developments and budget approvals in the next decade. Initial contract awards have already crossed $20 billion, but full program costs are projected to rise above $100 
$100 billion, especially when factoring in the support systems, upgrades, and accompanying drone fleets. What sets the F-47 apart isn't just its design or stealth capability, it's the approach it introduces to combat. This is the first fighter built with AI-based decision-making and autonomous coordination as standard operating features, not optional upgrades. The aircraft is designed to operate in contested environments where real-time human judgment might not be fast enough. But this shift toward automation raises serious questions for military leadership. While AI can optimize targeting and logistics faster than any pilot, concerns around rules of engagement, accountability, and safety are now front and center. The Department of Defense is already working on new doctrine guidelines to define where AI ends and human control begins. These changes are forcing adjustments across the board, from training programs to command structures. Future pilots will need to manage information flow and AI collaboration rather than just flying the plane. Squadrons may shift from traditional fighter formations to mixed units of manned and unmanned systems, coordinated digitally with almost no radio chatter. The shift isn't just technological, it's cultural. There's also an underlying strategic point driving all of this. With China advancing its own sixth generation designs and Russia experimenting with drone swarm technology, the US isn't just preparing for potential combat. It's trying to ensure that no adversary can gain a technological edge in the air, now or 30 years from now. As the F-47 program scales up, its impact will be felt far beyond runways and hangars. It will change how wars are planned, how airspace is contested, and how the US projects power. The systems, teams, and doctrines built around this aircraft will define air warfare for the next generation. So what's your take on the F-47? Is this the future of air combat, or just the beginning of something even bigger? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of aviation. Until next time, thanks for watching.